It's beginning to look a lot like Vlogmas. Love that. Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to Vlogmas. I have little patches on right now, so I gotta take those off. Um, just woke up and getting focused, getting smoke fed, and I think we might walk down for a coffee because it's pretty early. It's like seven, so um, I think we have like an hour till we have to get going. So we might walk down for a quick coffee. Okay. I'm doing this crazy cough lately. Anyway, so um, we're getting ready shortly, but just wanted to say good morning. It is super cold outside. It's like 37 degrees. It is winter. We all slept good. We are a well-rested family, and it's going to be a beautiful day. We've got smoke six-month checkup today, which we're really excited about, and hopefully going to get the green light or just have the discussion around solids, so maybe we can get into that before vlogmas ends which would be really fun um there you go good job he's starting to grab his bottle by himself it's really cute and yeah we'll just take you along for the ride but welcome back to vlogmas i don't even know what day it is i've completely lost track i think it's like seven or something but... good morning y'all joe and i just did a little switcheroo She's getting dressed now. And I'm gonna change his diaper when he's done. He's almost done with his bottle. I feel like since we started doing this like little prop thing on his little toy on his, or like this little bar on his seat, it's like really started to teach him how to grab the bottle, which has been really cool. Your breast stinks. Let me get you some, some mouthwash. Let's change your diaper. Zip. Love it. <laughs> and, uh, and hot. Oh, so cozy. You're ready. You look like a fisherman. Yes, you do. Uh, we gotta hurry. Uh, uh, it'll, be more, it'll be more comfy, so on the walk. It'll be warmer. I mean, they should slide right in. I know. They're like little fins. Platypus feet. <laughs> Blocks. <laughs> it's got hooves. Oh, it was exactly. It's like trying to put a goat's foot in a human foot. Okay, you're ready. It is like a little goat hoe. You ready to put you in your straw there? I'm ready for your walk. You look gorgeous. I'm ready. I'm ready. Family walk. All right. It took, only took us 30 minutes to just get everyone dressed and out the door. Wow, you're a big boy. You are so big. You say good morning to the world. I swear, the second we come outside with him, he's like, I know. Instant, like, he's in like, a, he's like a trance. A trance, it. yeah. He doesn't make a peep. We could go on like a two hour walk. He doesn't say a word. So funny. He this just, one, on the other hand, I'm <laughs> just kidding. But I think that he's like one with nature. He is. I think we're all meant to be like that. He's an outdoorsman. You're an outdoorsman. This is so beautiful. Call you bear girls. Smokey bear girls. <laughs> Lady bird. 
Mom, we got her coffee, and you are just loving your morning. You love your activity center. Got our coffees, walk back, it is chilly out. My jewelry drawer is jammed upstairs, like my drawer where I keep all my jewelry, so I can't get any of my jewelry out, so I'm gonna need to figure that out. Um, let me see if Hunter can do it actually. I just, I just do it so they know that like we were coming we're on our way. I know, no, I think it's great. Probably should. Every morning I asked Julia on the way to F45, I'm like, hey, do you sign up for class? She's like, I never sign up for class. How do you ask me that? Why well, I never sign up. I just never. I'm like, have that's time. not respectful because the coaches want to know okay. who's showing up. Yeah, but up. they always check me in. I always say, sorry. Yeah, that's a privilege that they, they reckon they know us now. Okay. But we should still be Fair courteous Fair. and Fair. sign up for class. Okay, I'm doing it. Every morning I'm like, did you sign up for class? I never sign up. I never do. I'm like, okay, don't do what I do. I do that to you. <laughs> I know, I love it. Every time she's like giving me instruction. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> I do that to her like at least like twice a day. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna sign in. Ooh, good catch. We are running late to F45 when it gets raging on the road. It's so frustrating. Like it's ev everyone else's fault that we're late. Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it is 8.29 and we're probably like a good seven, eight minutes away. Huh? Call you a cinema, we'll call it second sight. Now they treat them all the same. And it's the thinnest line they hung you Holding my hands and say, Hey, what if I only ever took what's mine? I wanted to tell them that if I could have led a different life, could have led a different life. But now I need somebody who could ease my mind, need somebody who could ease my mind. Oh, you put in your equipment, your phone on the cone. We'll figure out where we walk in. I know, that's smart. All right, that was a good class. I liked that one. I liked, I liked the exercises. It was a good mix. Whole body weights, baby. Get that lift in. I like the days we're in between uh, stations. Yeah. We're in between sets. It's ab workout. I know. Because you know there's some days on cardio days where the in between is like all the burpees and oh, stuff. Oh, no, know. You're like, I'm good. I'm good. Yeah. Not, Get a abs not a burpee fan. I don't know if anyone's a burpee fan. I don't think anyone is. I like the, um, I like just the, dis like this, the balance structure. of that one, the structure. It was very nice. Very pleasant. One of my favorites. You know why mirrors can do this? Tug in and out. Now watch. Ooh, kill him. If you have a trailer hooked up behind you. Yeah. You, you could see them horses. Nice, brother. There you go. Every time I park though, I go like. You tuck them in. That. Tuck Just them so babies no one in. Swipes my mirror on the way back. Yeah. Only ever took what's mine. I wanted to tell. That if I could have led a different life, could have led a different life. But now I need somebody who could ease my mind, need somebody who could ease my mind. You know why? Need the remedy to kill my vibes, need the value to. Okay, I am restocking our bath towels today. We actually always get questions on our striped bath towels and they were limited edition by Brooklinen like last year and they were sold out, but they brought them back. So they're back in stock right now currently. Um, and I feel like anytime I'm in here, everyone's like, where are those striped towels from? So get them while you can right now. I love the stripes because our bathroom and usually people's bathrooms are like super minimal. They are like all white or all neutral. So to have just like, this is still really neutral. It's like beige with a dark navy stripe. Um, it's still super classic, but it adds just a little pattern to the bathroom and I love it. So, um, 
you guys know all of like our bedding, all of our towels, all of, a lot of our like home luxury home goods are by Brooke Linen. Uh, we are huge fans of the brand. They basically make like luxury home products. So think like bath towels, bath sheets, uh, bedding sheets, pillows, all of our bedding on all of our beds is Brooklinen. And we partnered with them for a while here on YouTube. So if you guys watch our vlogs, then you know, but the striped towels specifically are like a seasonal item, which is why I wanted to remind you guys that they're back in stock. Um, this is their super plush towel, bath towel. And we actually only have two currently because when I ordered them last year, there weren't very many in stock, so I'm replenishing. And I also got some for the downstairs bathroom because I love the stripes so much. So I'm gonna pop these in the um, washing machine to get them washed, but it's nice to have a little backup for uh, replacement, but we keep two out on the hooks. And I just like, they look really cute. They look really pretty. They kind of hide makeup and stuff like that. So when they're hanging up, they don't look like white shows everything. And I love a crisp white towel and I have a bunch of their super plush towels in white if you are like, want it really minimal. Um, they have tons of colors, by the way, on the website in their super plush towel line. Um, you can get solids. They have other seasonal colors and they're always kind of playing around with patterns and stuff. But yeah, I just like the way like they hide certain things. So leaving them out, they don't look like super dirty, even though you're most of the time just wiping when you've just washed your hands and everything. So they should be pretty clean. But if you know, you know what I mean. Um, so super beautiful. They're nice and big and I'm just obsessed with them. These are like my favorite find. I love these towels so much. And I also think they would make for a really great gift. I put them on my home gift guide actually because I'm that big of a fan of them. Really good quality. I feel like they just get better with each wash. Um, as you wash them, they get softer. They are thick and plushy, but they're not like, they don't get really, really heavy when water gets on them. I know some towels are like, really weighty they're just like that perfect plush luxurious feel so you can do the um like bath bundle which is what i did and i got four of these i got the hand towels which are the ones on the little hooks here and then i also got some little washcloth sizes so you have it consistent throughout which is really cute they also made the stripe pattern in this like sort of festive -y burnt red color and they have the towels in this color, which I think are so beautiful. Um, I just know the beige is like a little bit more year round, but I was like, I gotta get the robe in this striped color. And I'm literally obsessed. Even like Hunter was like, that's a cool robe. I'm like, I know. I got it in a size medium and it's basically the exact same fabric, but in a robe, like how cute. Guys, the color is so nice. It actually doesn't feel overly Christmassy. Like I would wear this throughout the whole fall season. It's not screaming Christmas, it's just screaming like winter and fall. And, oh, it's just so cute, I love it. So cozy, I'm always in robes these days, like after the shower, um, getting ready, I just am obsessed with them. So love this colorway. Brooklinen has a sale that actually started today and it's going through December 10th. It's going to be 25% off all of their best sellers, which includes all of the bedding we own and the towels and rope that I showed today. Um, but if you're watching this after the sale, you can always use our code HAVENS for $20 off any orders, $100 or more. All right, y'all. I'm about to go to Soho House. I'll probably do like 15 minutes in the sauna, shower, get dressed there. And then I'm hunkering down and editing from there. I'm gonna try to knock out two vlogs today. Did you tell me you're getting your teeth pulled? Um, I don't think I did. I'm getting my oral surgery tomorrow. So I'm getting, maybe I did tell you all that yesterday. So mm -hmm. I'm trying to edit what I'd be editing tomorrow. I'm trying to edit it today as well with what I'm supposed to be editing today. Yes, because Hunter is our, our editor. You guys didn't know. Just want to get ahead of it because I don't want it to fall on Julia's plate tomorrow if I'm out for the count after my um, surgery. So, are you coming to Soho? I don't think so because I'm filming some campaigns, so you'd be better. Well, I kind of wanted to come. Smoke's six month checkup is today. I think we talked about that. Yes. I was gonna plan on going and then we realized I am gonna be out for the count tomorrow, so I'm just gonna hunker down. If I can knock out the two videos like before then, maybe I'll come. I'll have to play by ear. Yeah. All right. No problem. Love you guys. See y'all soon. Love you. I am just 
finishing my makeup for the day. Doing a little session. Lately, it's the Patrick Ta blush, and she's a doll. I, gosh, well, it's been a couple months now, but I literally love it. It is so pretty. And I feel like it looks good on literally anyone. And I put it on my beauty gift guide because I just love it that much. So beautiful. That's what I'm wearing. And then my lips. I'm actually wearing one of the new dipsticks in the shade Starlit. Look at this blush shade. It's like, wait, no, this is not the one. This is the, sorry. I'm wearing this blush, dibs blush on my lips actually. This is in the shade Venus how like rich and beautiful it is so i just like literally tapped it like this with like more of a brown liner and i feel like it gives that like cherry cola sort of lip vibe um it is the new truffle by nyx so that's what i'm wearing um and i'm ready for the day I'm going to make some lunch really quickly i think i'm gonna have just the um brussels sprout mix bacon mix and i'm gonna put it in the air fryer so we preheat I, a lot of people say that um leftovers are really good in air fryer so i'm gonna try that okay it's like halfway i'm just gonna check it gorgeous okay i think what i'm gonna do is crack two eggs in there just like raw Putting a dollop of Greek yogurt on top. Kind of like a sour cream vibe. Cholula. Okay. Love the air fryer. I feel like the air fryer you can just walk away and it just is beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. Oh, yum. Obsessed with this Brussels sprout breakfast mix and it's so easy to heat up. I'm just catching up on some work. I am editing campaigns, responding to emails, um, working on graphics, stuff like that. So just doing like computer time. I'm going to try to fit all this in while or before smoke stalker's appointment, which is in three hours. So I have to take a smoke to the pediatrician for his six month checkup. I'm like literally still in my workout clothes from earlier. So I'm just going to throw on like a puppy vest. I need to get my bag ready for if he needs like a bottle. I like haven't done um, a lot of outings with him in a while. But whenever I go somewhere, I like have to get bottles prepared, clothes, diaper bag. I like to have everything in the car just in case. throwing a puffer on this is um from one of my beachy hauls recently i am packing a diaper bag i know i said like i don't always use a diaper bag i have said that in the past but i still think that you need to have one especially for like long outings or trips travel like i do use it um but i would say like for quick outings like dinners or running out for coffee um I'll just like throw a bottle and like some diapers in my bag or something like my purse or I will just leave this in the car and then I will run to the car if I need to get like diapers or something like that or I'll leave formula in here or whatever so that's kind of how I use my diaper bag but what, what I'll do for this is like I'm not needing to like have a cute bag for the pediatrician so I'll probably just put my wallet in the diaper bag wallet in the top pouch and i always keep a chapstick in here too because i don't know where it went so i saw that i really love my diaper bag it's from kara sport and i feel like it's cute out of all the diaper bags it's like kind of sporty and they're not the most attractive thing but you know this one i've been really happy with um they just did a special edition one in black the exact same bag black with boucle black like black nylon and black blue blue clay like layered and it's so cute i was like i should almost order that but then i was like i literally have so much fucking blue clay i have to like chill um so 
that's that anyways and then this guy is for pacifiers and if you know you know you need to have those pacifiers accessible honey from the outside of the bag so um okay okay also mom hack i don't know if this is a hack it might just be literal common sense um but if I am alone with the baby, like doing an outing by myself, cause you know, you guys know that's a whole different situation when you're solo parenting. I will bring all of my stuff down to the car first. And I'll like bring my Stanley down, my bag, everything. And then that way I can just go get him and carry him down alone. Cause if you like are trying to go out to the car with all the stuff in your hands, it's like such a hassle. Okay, we are locked and loaded. I think I'm out of gas, unless Hunter was able to get gas in here. I'll love him forever. <gasps> Full tank? OMG, nothing better than having a full tank when you get in the car. Okay, so Hunter, like I said, he is editing the next two days of Vlogmas for you guys because he is getting his wisdom teeth pulled tomorrow. So he was like, I think I better edit all day um so i might have to miss the pediatrician appointment and we were like we'll play it by ear if you get done in time but i think he's still editing so let me just check with him um so that means i get smoky all to myself <laughs> i love hanging out with you by myself it's my favorite thing to do just me and you my favorite the only thing i ever get for I'm gonna be late. Hi, um, I have an appointment at four o'clock for Smoke Havens. Um, and we're just running about 10 minutes late. I wanna let you guys know that we are still coming. Okay, not a problem. I will let Raylan know. Okay, thanks so much. Just us roasting on an open fire. Big boy six months. Okay, we're here. Just changed his diaper. Dipe. Use is growing so good. And we're about, we're waiting for the doctor. And you have 40. Your head is so big. It's so big. You wanna play with that? Perfect. <laughs> you, love it. you love it? That's good. <laughs> We're all done. Um, everything's good. She said his right ear looks a little red. And I saw you pulling on it. So I was thinking the same thing, but I didn't say nothing because I wasn't sure. Mm -hmm. um, so she was like, let's just keep an eye on that. Do you wanna go to Target? Let's go to Target. We also talked about his cough. He just has a little bit of a cough right now. Um, I think he picked it up from his cousins like at Thanksgiving, but she was like, it's all good. Just like, but it's like, it'll probably go away in a couple of weeks. Um, you just let me know if it like starts to wake him up at night and or like it becomes a problem. So, next stock, see you later. See you in three months when I'm nine months. Bye bye. Here at Target. Um, sweater is cute. Pink sweater. Kind of hard to find baby pink sweaters. Uh, that's pretty cute. And then obviously headed straight to the baby section because that's what I do every time I'm here. Oh my god, it's so cute. Oh my god, I just ordered way too much stuff online. Wow, they are stacked with stuff. Damn, inventory, you guys. Um, their girl stuff is always so cute, but. I always say that every time I come kids shopping. <gasps> Did you agree? I think so too. It's just not fair, is it? It's not fair. Let's see. No, we were here to get you spoons. What's this we doing over here? We're being crazy. We're being crazy. Oh my god, if you're going to Disney, this stuff is too cute. Very like minimal and like chic too. The brown, like the nude the mickeys okay i'm pretty sure this is the boy section so he never fits anything over here but these striped pants are so cute yeah 18 months dang it i love those okay see i think these were the pajamas these are the just one you by carters they're like picked over but oh my god like so flipping cute but that's 5t um oh my baby can't fit in the stuff yet but i ended up ordering christmas pajamas from um 
Pottery Barn, but they have really cute ones here from that line. I mean, those are pretty cute. Should I just, I just want to get stuff for my nieces and nephews because everything's so cute. Oh, look. Dead. Three T. So cute. Yeah, I feel like these were the pajamas this year was the Carter's line. They're so cute. Look. Mother, come quick. Um, look at the Santa dinosaurs. I'm dead. Santa's, like, the patterns are really cute. Um, how cute. The Santa sleighs on the Navy. Santa's. I wonder if I should get these for my nephew. They might go with our Christmas pajamas. I already got him some, but am I annoying? <laughs> I just want to keep buying things. Oh, my God. Look at these little joggers. <gasps> I gotta have a girl one day, you guys, so I can really play with the clothes. <coughs> if I could put you in hearts, I would. Would you wear heart sweatpants for mommy? Make her dreams come true? Okay, I need to chill. I'm walking away. I'm like thinking, oh, should I get them backup options and let them pick which pajamas they want? I'm psychotic. And these are just cousins. This is only for my own kid. Kids, you just wanna buy them everything. This is what we came for, because we got cleared for solids. So. Like metal might hurt. I think we do these ones. These are beautiful spoons for you. Want that or oh, it's like new territory? I don't know. We'll just put it. People just put it on the tray, right? Yeah, just put it on the tray. Oh, we need bibs, of course. We need some bibs. Well, we have. Oh, we have some upstairs. Okay, that'll be fine. We have our purees at home. Do we need any formula while we're here? Oh, like these. These are just beautiful. <gasps> bath toys. Christmas bath toys. Oh my God, fun. No, we don't need that. Okay, okay. Well, I'm just getting crazy over here. We gotta stop. This looks cute. Or even this. I was thinking you might like some stacking things. He's grabbing a lot of things, so stacking I think might be fun. Maybe I get this for you for Christmas. Don't tell Santa I showed you. Okay, we've been playing up a storm since the checkup. Are you having all sorts of fun over here? <laughs> okay, let's go. Okay, let's go do bath, and then uh, Mama will eat dinner after you go to sleep. Because you've been up for like three hours. That's a long time for you. Happy about, huh? You love your bath. Okay, let's go get in. Beautiful. Oh, I love you. You're my best friend. Did you know that? Yes, you are. Oh, look, I think it's Brother Booker. I hear him. There he is. It's Booker. Look. He loves Booker lately. By the way, I thought I would mention because I know I talked about the Lalo bathtub a lot when he was a newborn. And I literally, he just grew out of that. Um, I have it over there. Just where you saw Booker walk in. And he just started to get a little bit big for it. But I think it's the perfect newborn bathtub. Um... But I guess you don't really need it. You could probably use just this angel care one. But um, I did really like that as a newborn because you wouldn't have to fill up the entire bathtub to give them a bath. You would just have to fill, fill that little one. And they're so small. It just seems like sort of a waste to like let the whole bath fill up. Um, but now he's a little bit bigger and he can splash around and stuff like that. So... Okay, so I think for tonight like, for dinner, I got a little flatbread pizza earlier this week at Whole Foods. I think I'm going to pop that in the oven, but I want to get him to sleep. And then I think I'm going to go down, cook my pizza. I kind of make like a little salad and sort of enjoy. Um, I... <laughs> it's weird when Hunter's not here. I'm like, oh my God, is this what it feels like to be a single mom? Like, you're just like in the house by yourself with the baby. It feels so weird. It's kind of fun. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just special to get to spend like alone time with them. Um, I love you so much. And I feel like, I, yeah, like since the nanny's usually here and working, 
Um, I actually don't really have like a lot of days with him where it's just me, no one's in the house, and I'm just doing all the stuff. So it's kind of fun to be able to do that. You're a little taquito. You are a mini. <laughs> yes, sir. Tell us. Tell me all your dreams and your wishes and your hopes and I'll help you make them come true, okay? Come on. Christine. Christine did these beautiful Christmas pajamas. Tonight's Vlogmas pajamas are from Bums and Roses. They actually have a lot of cute patterns. I discovered them recently. And Smokey looks beautiful! Okay. Okay, baby's down. This is the little flatbread I got from the whole food section. I've never tried their flatbread, so... Yeah, I just thought it looked good. Air frying the green beans now. Get some nice and crispy. I put some almonds on them. Delish. But look how cute and Christmassy everything looks. That red on there. Um, let's try it. Mmm. Cute. It's good. They had a couple of different flavors in the refrigerated section. There was like classic pepperoni. Mm, but I like the good cheese cranberry. Look who's here. Tired. I know. I've been grinding all day. What'd you make? Some good good. Oh, you made that flatbread. Yeah, there's still half on the stove if you want to try it. Things. I had a steak at Soho. Look at you. It was pretty good. Was Did just, you have a, pecan a, a picante? Booker? I had a picante, yeah. A little spicy mark. Nice. Because you were... I uploaded the final video mm -hmm. to YouTube and it was taking, it takes long there. And the Wi Fi is not as good as here because it's like shared. Yeah. So you were chilling. Um, so I was waiting for it to upload and then they came by and were like, hey, laptop's up. So I had to go like um, put it somewhere else and then upload. So I was just like sitting there with that laptop. Sure. And then. Um, but you were like, I just want to finish the I job. I would be sitting on like my phone on like Instagram or something. So I was yeah. like, I just sit here and Aww. check some emails and got a cocktail. Good for you. I got two sponsorships done and then two vlogs done Vlogmas 5 and Vlogmas 6. Yeah, so with YouTube. We have to film the sponsorship, edit the sponsorship, send it off, For they people. watch it, they send back edits, maybe go back and forth. Usually no more than once, but send off a couple sponsorships to be approved. Usually they're approved for the first time. We've done it for so long that we know like what, what how it's going to go down. wouldn't get approved. Yeah. Like that. So, anyways. Okay, let's eat. I'm so sad I missed Smokey tonight. Oh. I haven't told Joel on the phone, I was like, don't put him to bed yet. She was like, he's fa he's like so he tired, he's falling asleep. He was really happy tonight. He was? And oh, he was like, don't tell me that. Smiling. Don't tell me that, but well, oh, don't tell no, me No, he's that. always happy, but he was smiling at the pediatrician. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Did she say anything? Yeah, and the nurse, like he went down to get, we got, laid him down to get his weight, and he was like, eh. <laughs> She put so the funny. temperature stick in, and he tried to grab it. <laughs> it was so cute. Oh, I'm so sad I missed it. Yeah, I know. Um, He's so sweet. I was editing all the videos and like seeing him on the videos and it's like just so cute. I get to like relive those moments twice. Uh -huh. Anyway. Now close your eyes. We'll spin around, say, part time. You could find a ain't the way that you want. But it's still alright.